welcome back to the channel everyone uh today we got the curbside gang back together you got me thomas jake william the cameraman and family's over here see the family hi sierra hi anna otherwise his wife is not present due to the virus she didn't have the virus didn't have the virus but the barona don't want to have the virus so we anyway regardless to say um don't have a whole lot going on today, just kind of some regular maintenance. Uh, exhaustive. That, that's a, a going on this. My wife's truck, Sierra's truck, going on in 2008. Six inch exhaust tip. Wow. Inch, 15 inches long. Wow. Um, so we're going to be doing that, uh, putting this thing on, and then also on our cameraman William's truck here. Look at these tires. Where did where'd you get this truck? I really like this truck. Where'd you get it? From a known friend. Yeah, th this used to be my truck here, but um, I, when I, con I converted over to uh, diesel, no. because I don't believe in gasoline anymore. Let me down too many times. And... Hashtag no torque. Hashtag no torque. This is a 5.7 liter Hemi. Beautiful. Don't get any better than that. Hemi. Yeah, you, know, you do with the comment. The comment is <laughs> Hemi. Yeah. You're missing something. Those don't extend. <laughs> Where's the tow <toe> mirror? <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to be doing today is uh, we're going to be rotating these tires, making sure none of them have holes in them. This guy always seems to pick up nails everywhere. Like there's a magnet in his tires or something. I also but, have um, a nail in my tire. And that, that he gave his he, he passed his cancer on over to uh, Jake here, <laughs> but um, but yeah. So basically, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started on the exhaust tip first. Um, we're gonna get this done. Just gotta get the old the Dewalt out, not the Dewalt, the um, Salzo. We're gonna shorten it up, but um, yeah. So it's gonna be a good day. Good day. It's beautiful outside. It's sunny. Not a cloud in sight. So we're gonna. just walk, walked off but uh so we're gonna cut this pipe right so we left a little mark right here i'm not sure if you can see it or not but thomas marked it with a little knife i'm gonna chop it off with a sawzall and then zap on that new exhaust tip over there and in theory it should make this sound better so uh You know what would help us cut this exhaust pipe more than anything? What's that? Not a sawzall. If you would go hit the subscribe button. So, let's go ahead and cut this pipe. <laughs> hey, safety first. Safety first. He wasn't rolling. I am rolling. He is rolling. Wait, so you got that? Yeah. Okay. I haven't cut yet. <laughs> we'll just have to, we'll just have to uh, mute some of this shit. Yeah.
like to say, starting off, that he's using my cobalt. He still thinks the cobalt's better. My I think, cobalt. I think yeah. the B wall's better. So, you know what? Just, just comment down below which one you think is better. Basically, uh, we're gonna see if this works, but for some reason this uh, this is a four inch exhaust and um, You can see better here. This is a four inch exhaust and the tip is supposed to be a four inch um, OD to an eight inch or I'm sorry to a six inch which is irrelevant to this, but um, Basically, uh, it's not gonna be able without a shim or something. It wouldn't be able to uh, tighten down all the way and it's gonna be loose, but uh Basically what we did, Jake had the idea to uh, shim it with the old exhaust and so what we did was just, um, we just cut a little strip out here to put in between the exhaust tip and the um, uh, exhaust. So um, probably going to have it welded or just weld it myself actually one of these days uh, just to be safe but uh, for now this is what we're going to do. So let's see if it works. Not as bad as the other side, I'll tell you that. The other side though. Yeah, that rubber was falling off. Those ads are done. 
Well, brake, brake, uh, brake pads. Right. Next, next episode, brake pads. That's it's supposed to be play. A lot, I think. Uh, like a, I'm a curbside question. mechanic. I'm not a real mechanic. Could that be a cause of the, um, the misalignment? What? The pads See the axle? No. I mean, that yeah. tie rod. I mean, that tie rod, those tie rod brushes need more out. You're not. You probably get up. How would you take this out? Oh, There's a nut on bottom. Is there. Not, you can't I'll, spell I'll nutrition do, without not. I'll do that research, but you think I can, does that come in a whole set assembly or? I don't know. You think I could probably just get a. Go talk to your friendly neighbors down at the O'Reilly. They'll tell well, you. Yeah. No, All right fun. then, probably uh, the next time we we'll work on it, it should be probably the next weekend. We'll uh, on. take care of the brakes and the. Uh... Yeah. this it looks like there's a nail in here what no that <laughs> check has oh well we're gonna have to cut that that's a nail what the hell <laughs> that wasn't there last time we looked at it that was last why weekend. is there nails in your tires i don't know it's a very good question very good question where do you take this thing the uh My house. House. why do you have nails at your house I like to I like to hit the nail on the arms to make sure I can still feel. All right, so we got everything done that we set out to do today, surprisingly, and nothing broke. Why'd you say that? Nothing broke. Well, because we're done. Now we're gonna break something on the drive home. No, I hope not. Anyway, uh, so we got the exhaust tip done on the uh, 08 Dodge 67 Cummins Turbo Diesel. Four by four. That's a mouthful. Lifted. But anyway, six inch exhaust tip. Exhaust tip. Well, exhaust tip. Um, not real impressed with that company from eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you if it was a high quality one. Yeah, it's a good quality. No, it's not it's high an quality. E, it's an eBay. Tip. eBay didn't make it. That probably came from China. The people don't want to know. China. They All right. Want to China. Anyway, what else did we do? And then we did uh, some right. work on my beauty. We rotated the tires on this gas sucker. Uh, uh, I mean, half turn Dodge. It's still a Dodge, so I guess it's, it's kind of like the. It's kind of like the like like less cool. All right. All little right. sibling of. The Cummins diesels, you know, but it's a Hemi. That's okay. Five. That's all right. I don't personally agree with that statement, but okay. So, and then we got the FX4 package. They are here. It's like the reverse Magnums. 8.8 ring gear. Only Ford on the lot. Limited slip differential. Yeah, you can have all those. Rancho shocks. You can have all. Ooh. Anyway, so yeah, we didn't actually do anything to this thing today. Uh, but anyway, if um, yeah, can you say it? What? Say no, no, go ahead. Well, no, last time I said it, you no, started go ahead. no, 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 no. Go last ahead, time buddy. I said it, you started talking. Like, comment, subscribe, please. <laughs> and thank you for viewing and watching our videos. And uh, stay tuned. Um, still no turbo this weekend. Um, God, I'm hoping it comes in next week. Uh, there is gonna... something coming next week. Yeah, and it's very important to me. Dear, wow. Dear, near and dear. I will be picking heart. it up on off the semi. Supposedly, we're suspecting it'll be here on Wednesday. So I got to go meet the 18 wheeler and uh, pick it up, and we're gonna do some things. And so more important, stay, stay tuned for a midweek video. And more important news, forget all that nonsense. Uh, I got a project on this truck. That's probably more important, so. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, all right. Again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.